Hi guys, it's Josh Gain here from joshgain.com. Um, today I'm just going to take you over a quick overview of Spanning Tree Protocol, STP. Um, basically, STP's role um, is to stop frames from infinitely looping around a, a LAN, and it does this by working out what's known as a root bridge, and then from there, assigning different roles to the interfaces connected. Um, and then ultimately blocking needed ports to stop frames from creating a broadcast storm in the LAN. Um, so basically, we have here this network diagram. We have four switches running, default, nothing special has been added to it, just a host name and um, connect it all up. And as we can see here, uh, by this diagram we've got uh, no data or no activity here because that's been that port fast one one has been put into blocking mode now how do we come to all this all right so basically for STP to work it has to decide on a root bridge so tank that's just like the leader of the bunch so it 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 just controls everything so to speak um, this election process, so to, so to speak, works on a few things. Bridge ID, lowest bridge ID. If they tie, lowest MAC address, because they're all unique. So there's eventually they're going to find one that's the winner. So once they find the winner, we have the root bridge, and then from there we have the non-root bridges, which then have port roles such as designated port and root port. Uh, designated ports also sit on every interface on the root bridge. And then we'll have a, a port which is put into blocking mode. So how does it work this out? And how do we know? What is what? So we have switch three here. Now I've run the show spanning tree, show spanning tack tree command here. As you can see, uh, stuffed it up. Uh, we get this output here. We've got root ID, which is the same on all the devices in the LAN because this is the root bridge. This is the information contained in what's called the hello timer. So the priority is 32769 with its MAC. It also tells us here this bridge is the root. And it repeats it again. So this is the current switch that we've run the, the, the command on. And it tells us fast01. Its role is a designated port. Same with 11. Our uh, cost is 19. I'll go over them quickly a bit later. Uh, and status forwarding. So designated port's role are to forward the hello timers or the hello bpdu across the land segment and then we'll notice on switch switch two we'll have a new one here called the root port so the root port is the can interface or the link to the root bridge which has the least cost so by knowing what I know it'll be 1-1 one, one. it is and the designated port is 0-1 so it'll forward the hello BPTU onto the rest of the LAN uh, same story with switch 1 haven't done that one yet Yep, one one is a root. O ones are designated. It also forwards frames. Cost of nineteen, and then we get to switch zero. A little bit different. It has a root bridge. Ah, sorry, root port, which is the lowest cost connection to the root bridge. And then it has here. It says an alternate port. Now this port works, but it's been put into a blocking mode to stop a frame from looping. So a frame 
would it say it was meant for switch two it would go, and it was a broadcast it would go out one and zero one come into two it would also go at one to here and it would stop so it wouldn't loop pretty simple um, now an alternate roll port will take over if this link fails um, convergence will happen it'll do a few things put this in the block and it'll open this one up and we'll still have connection to all the switches every switch will be able to talk to every switch um, the default costs for IEEE standard so let me remember it would be 10 megs 100 and we're running a hundred meg lines so their cost of 19 which is the Chang um, one gig is four and a 10 gig link is two now what if you're asked on the exam to figure out what's what pretty much do what I just did show spanning tree It'll give you the root ID It'll also give you the port so what, what's this one switch zero so it's root port as well it's fast one its cost to the root bridge is 38 so it'll we'll work 19, 19, 38 to get there I'm going to also see the interface statuses by here the root, root port is fast 01 we know this one's in a blocking state it says here that the root ID is 32769 it's, this is its bridge ID with its MAC address it's higher than that so that's why it wasn't the root bridge then say we went straight on to switch 3 run it again get this nice thing saying this is the root oh, this bridge is the root we find that all its interfaces are designated ports which you'd only ever see on a root bridge as well and it's advertising a cost of 19 to itself no sorry that's wrong it'll advertise a cost of zero but this one one will advertise a cost of 19 19 plus 0 is 19 that's how it works it out I'm not going to go into the math that's it it's pretty simple STP stops frames from infinitely looping stops broadcast storms that sort of thing that's it I'll have this uh, lab up so you can play around and have a look for yourself on my website straight after this